Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's review Bernoulli's equation. But by doing that, we cannot forget about what we saw in the previous video. We still need to know that the product of the cross-sectional area and the velocity of the fluid at one point in the pipe must equal the product of the cross-sectional area times the velocity in another point in the pipe. And so that applies to applying Bernoulli's equation as well. Sometimes we need to use this equation in order to find one of the unknowns. Also, we need to remember that the amount of volume per unit time that flows through a pipe is always going to be equal to the product of the cross-section area times the velocity of the fluid. Now, Bernoulli's equation says that the sum of these three terms, the pressure at any point in the pipe, times the density of the fluid, times the acceleration of the gravity, times the height of the pipe at that point, plus one-half the density times the velocity squared of the fluid, that always remains a constant. So the sum of those three terms always remain a constant, which means that those three terms at one point in the pipe must equal those three terms in another point of the pipe. Which means that if the height of the pipe goes up, that means pressure will drop. And if the velocity goes, becomes greater, then the pressure will drop as well. So notice that we go from a wider pipe to a narrower pipe, which means the velocity there will be greater than it is here. So we'll have a pressure drop because of the increase in velocity. We'll have a pressure drop because of the increase in height. So if we want to know what the pressure will, will be at this point, when we know the pressure over here, the velocity and the height of the pipe, and we know the velocity here and the height of the pipe, we should be able to find the pressure at that point. So we solve that equation for the pressure at point 2, which is equal to the pressure at point 1, plus the difference between the rho gh at point 1 and the rho gh at point 2, and the difference between 1 half rho v1 squared at the point 1 and 1 half rho v2 squared at point 2. When we plug in all the numbers, notice that was the pressure at point 1, the difference in the pressure due to the two locations in height, since we gain height, we have a drop in the pressure. And here, because we have an increase in velocity, we have another drop in the pressure. When we add them all up, we can then calculate the final pressure. In that case, will be 301,000 pascals. So a very typical example of how to use Bernoulli's equation.